everyone, this is Trang with Runaway Rice. This week's recipe is vermicelli soup with chicken, pork roll, and egg. It's a hearty dish that's easy to make, with a few shortcuts, and one the whole family will enjoy. Let's start with the ingredients. We need chicken breast meat with ribs, sweet onion, salt, water, black pepper, fish sauce, steamed pork roll, eggs, and milk. This dish is not complete without the fresh ingredients. We will need Vietnamese coriander, washed and trimmed, red chilies, finely chopped, limes cut into wedges, cilantro, washed and finely chopped, and finely diced green onion tops. We also need cooked vermicelli rice noodle. If you don't know how to make this, check out my YouTube channel for the how-to video. Let's start first by making the broth. Peel the sweet onion and cut into large wedges. We use the onion to sweeten the broth so it doesn't require hours and hours of simmering. To our stock pot, we add salt and the entire chicken breast. Next, we add the water, making sure to cover the chicken completely. We cover the pot and bring it to a boil. As soon as the water starts to boil, we skim the foam from the broth. This helps to keep the broth nice and clear. We keep skimming as the broth comes to a rapid boil. Now we turn the heat to low and cover the pot, leaving a slight opening. We simmer for 25 to 30 minutes. To check that the chicken is cooked, we slice into the thickest part with a sharp knife. If the juices run clear, the chicken is cooked. If the juices are still pink, simmer for another 5 minutes and then recheck. Once the chicken is cooked, we remove from the broth and set aside and allow it to cool. We can scoop out the onions now and then discard. To season the broth, we simply add fish sauce and freshly ground black pepper. For those not familiar with steamed pork roll, it's ground pork and spices that's whipped in a food processor and then steamed. It's often wrapped in banana leaves. It's pretty time consuming to make, so I typically buy this at my Asian grocery store. One of these rolls is about one pound, so we need just half a roll for this recipe. We slice the pork roll into thin slices, about an eighth of an inch thick. And then we cut into thin strips. We can set this aside for now. Next we make the eggs. If you have a small skillet like mine, you'll make the egg in two batches, so the egg is nice and thin. We add a dash of salt to the egg and some freshly ground black pepper. And we add half of the milk since this is just for two eggs. Now we whisk everything together. Heat the skillet over medium-high heat and spray in some olive oil. Let's pour the eggs into the pan. And then we gently swirl the egg mixture, coating the pan evenly. Cook the eggs on the first side for two to three minutes until it's no longer runny. Then very carefully we flip it over and then cook it on the other side for another two minutes. Now we can cut the egg into thin strips, just like we did with the pork roll. The chicken is cooled now and we can handle it. We cut it first into smaller sections. The best tool to use to shred the chicken is our hands. Take a section of the chicken and then tear it into small, thin strips. We are ready to put our dish together. Add a generous amount of the Vietnamese coriander to the bottom of the bowl. Next, we add the vermicelli rice noodle. Let's add some shredded chicken, steamed pork roll, and the fried egg. We ladle generous amounts of our homemade broth. We garnish the soup with green onions and cilantro. And if you like it spicy, add the red chilies. Enjoy this soup with shrimp paste if you're a fan, and don't forget the limes. I hope you like the recipe. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com.
I work on new recipes and post new videos every week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.